Giving all praises to God. Honor to my pastor, Pastor Anthony Dolan. To Reverend Green, Reverend Fontenot, and Reverend Anderson. And you, my sisters and brothers in Christ. This word, I think, is has a direct bearing on us today. In the ninth chapter of the Gospel according to Saint John, Saint John, beginning with verse one, you will find these words. And as Jesus passed by, I'm sorry, give me a chance to. Find it. It's St. John chapter 9, beginning with verse 1. And the Gospel of London, St. King James reads. And as us, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus asked them, neither has this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifested in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day, yeah. the night coming, when no man can work. As long as I am in, in the world, I am the light of the world. Right. You may be seated. Right. I would like to tag this particular message is, now is the time. Now is the time. This particular passage of scripture takes place after the Pharisees, the Sadducees, trying to find something again to accuse Jesus of. Right. You know, they never stopped. As long as he was here on the earth, they were always looking for something to prove that he wasn't who he said he was. Right. Yeah, yeah. And as he left, if I may call it this, uh, the debate hall, All right. he ran across this man. Right. I don't know whether it was day after, a week after, or it was immediately after that he left the synagogue. But he came across this man. And you know, it's look down on the end into the chapter, you will see that a man being born blind, he was sitting big. Because him being blind, he didn't have any means or sources that he could take care of himself. So he was sick in some place where people were coming. All right. And he would be. <clears throat> Ask them, or he depended on them yes. or for their generosity to help him out. Yes. So Jesus didn't say the man, he was knew who Jesus was. This is one of the times that the description never said. And in the beginning, this man knew who Jesus was. All right. But when Jesus passed by, yeah. as usual, when Jesus was passing by someone uh -huh. that in need of help, he's more than willing to help them out. That's right. Yeah. Come on, and as he was coming up on the man, the disciples asked him a question. Yeah. yeah. He said, Master, who sinned? Yeah. Was it his father? Uh -huh. Was it his mother? Yeah. Was, he, was it him? That he was born blind. Yeah. But I stopped by to tell you, my sister and brother, 
ask you a question. All right. How is it the man from the womb is born blind? So he, that thing, when he asked what what he in the womb was it him that caused Come him to be blind? Mm. How could he do this? Come on. Man. Yeah. How could he do be? Seeing in the womb, because he didn't even really know what he, who he was or what he was as long as he in the womb. That's right. But the question was, who was it that sinned that caused him yeah. to be born blind? Uh -huh. Was it his parents? Was it him? But I just I beg to differ. All right. How the man being born, it said we have we were born into sin. Not that we come out oh. as sin. Right. We were born into sin. Yeah. So right. how could he be a sinner from birth? Yeah. He'd have to spend some time in this world yeah. to be known and being called a sinner. Yeah. Right. And Jesus looked at him and said, it wasn't even one of them. That's right. This was born, was here today. <laughs> today. Now's the day. All right. Now is his day. The reason he was born blind was because God intended for him to blind. That God may get some praise. Right. Right. That he may get praise. Yeah. To bring glory to God. Yeah. You know, that's what our lives should reflect. All right. That we want to give God glory. Mm -hmm. Not to be glorified me. Mm -hmm. Not to be glorified faster than uh, Noah. Faster Not to glorify anybody, but give God praise. Right. Yeah. But God has control over right. everything. Right. Everything. Yeah. Everything. God has control. He desires who? This, that, and another. But I stopped by the table, my sister and brother. Even in your firmness. Yeah. Even in your bad times. Even in your good times. All right. All right. God can get some good. Yeah. If good, you're ugly, yeah. you're ugly, you're pretty, whatever you are, God can get glory. Yeah. <laughs> Just be willing, a willing servant, a willing, willing instrument that you can be used by God. Yeah. And he said, neither one of them, none of the mentioned people All right. that you had or that you mentioned was the cause of him blind, right blind. Right. This was the reason he would send you that God might give glory, that God might show you who he is. Yeah. Right. In other words, let him know that I come yeah. from the Father. All right. That the Father is working through me. Yeah. You see right here he said that? He put my eyes back on. <laughs> <laughs> he's a neither his parents seeing not him. Uh -huh. But that the works of God should be manifested in him. That, he, that God might get glory from his blindness. Because, look, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do something they never done before. All right. Nobody else can do it. You might call me a sinner, but I don't know any sinner can do what I can do. I don't know any sinner that's going to be able to restore this man's sight. This man was born blind from birth. Right. And I'm going to show y'all something. All right. I'm going to show y'all who God is. All right. And I'm going to show you that God works through me. That he might get glory. Yeah. I pray that God work through me. All right. That I glorify him. Yeah, yeah. That I give him praise. Right. What I do, it's all because of God. Yeah. Because of me myself, I'm nothing. All right. I'm just an instrument. That's it. That God chose sometimes, Brother That's, Larry, that's right. That he might use me, that he might get some glory. Yeah. But you know. Those Sadducees, Pharisees, always looking around. Yeah. They always looking around, trying to see, yeah. or trying to find sin in one that knew no sin. All right. And Jesus told him, "Say, this was done that God might get glory." And he said, "I must do the work yeah. of Him that sent mm -hmm. while it is day." Because the night comes, night come. no man can work. Right. In other words, what he was telling him about, I must do it while I'm still here on earth. Because right. after a while, I got to leave. Yeah. I got to go away. I got to go away 
said, we, you know, as he said in the 14th chapter, John, I got to go away and prepare a place for you. That one of these days I'm going to come back and receive you unto myself. I won't be with you all the way. But right now, I got to work. I got to work that God be glory. Everything that Jesus done, it wasn't for the glory of him. It was for the glory of God. Right. He all, and everything he did, he always pointed the way to God. Oh. He never took credit for himself. Yeah, yeah. It was all because of God working yeah. through him. Yeah. Though he was God yeah. in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You do know that, don't you? Yeah. Right. You know he's God in the flesh. Yeah. But he put aside his divinity all right. yeah. and came down in Lord's flesh. Yeah. That he might walk among us. Uh -huh. That he might show us yeah. what it really means to be a true servant yeah. of the one and only the true and living God. Yeah. He gave God praise. Yeah. He gave God glory. Took nothing for himself. Yeah. He thought every time somebody tried to put, put glory on him or tell to glorify him, he would say, no, it's yeah. the Father that worked in me. All right. I'm only doing it to do this because of who he is. Yeah. I am only can do this because God in me shows up at all times when I do this. It's the God in me, the God that I'm here to glorify. It's the God that enables me to do what I do. I'm on my own. I can't do anything. But when, as in, in Philippians it says, I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthened me. Yeah. I can't do it unless he strengthens me. Yeah. I can't do it unless he worked through me. All right. That's why when I got up here to preach, <laughs> I said, God, use this body yeah. that they might see you. Yeah. Right. Use this voice yeah. that they might hear you. Right. Because I don't have a heaven and hell All to right. push you into. Right. Right. But I'm going to stop by and tell you, it ain't God that put you in hell, you do. Because of your disobedience. That's right. Because I'm going to tell you another little secret. It wasn't made for you and I. Yeah. But because of us listening. Yeah. Because of us obeying the devil. Uh -huh. Hell, if we don't accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, yeah. shall be our home. That's right. Because this is not our home here. That's right. This is just a preparing place, a working place. Well. While we can try. Yeah. Do our best to make it in. Yeah. But if we don't glorify Him or honor Him, yeah. hell will be our home. Yeah. Because God, see, God didn't put us there. That's right. We put ourselves across the line of disobedience. Yeah. So I ask you this evening, sister, my sister and brother, allow God to receive glory through whatever you do. All right. I know. We enjoy, all of us enjoy praise or pat on the back saying, you did such a thing, such a thing. But why don't we turn around and say, it was the God in me yeah. that do what I do. That's right. Because I can't do it on my own. Yeah. It's only because of the Father. That's it's right. only because of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I'm able to do what I do. Yeah. He said, as long as I'm in the world, right. as long as I'm on this side, yeah. I got to work. I got to do the work. Not on me. But the work of one who sent me. Right. Yeah. The one who I left home, uh -huh. who gave me a baby body, yeah. wrapped me up in a squatting clothes, uh -huh. took me down in Bethlehem Lincoln, yeah. took me down and laid me out in a cow's throat, right. where they, I wasn't born in a palace. Right. Though I was a king of kings, I wasn't born in the king's palace. Uh -huh. I was born in a slave. I was laid in a cow's trunk uh -huh. as my prey. Yeah. I wasn't born to be according to man. Uh -huh. I wasn't born the way a lot of us came into the world. Because we had swaddling clothes when we were born. We had blankets that they left us in. Right. When we were born, we had a bed that they laid us in. Uh -huh. When we were born, they, we, the most of us were born in a hospital uh -huh. where the doctor was in the tenders. But the one in the tent of Christ at his birth was yeah. Kyle's horses and mules. Well, that's who that the God Christ the God in his tent. Yeah. But we were born, I wasn't, I wasn't born in the hospital, you know. <laughs> but God was in 
living in Tennessee. Yeah. God was there. All right. God was there when I was born. Yeah. It took me a while to get back to his side. Mm -hmm. Although I stopped by to tell you, my sister, well, I've been in church all my life. Yeah. But I tell you what, the church has always been in me. Because there have been times that I've stumbled. Mm -hmm. There have been times that I've fallen down. Yeah. But I thank God that even in my downtrodden time, he came to see about me. Yeah. He came and touched me one day. And I left from that side. And I came over on the guard side. So I thought about the change.
get a chance. Yeah. But you reject him. You turn your back on him. Yeah. You didn't accept him. So, depart from me. You bring up the one need to. But I want to hear the words of well done. My yeah. yeah. good yeah, yeah. and faithful servant. Yeah. You've been faithful for a few things. Now come on up. And I'll make you a ruler over me. I'm not designed to be a ruler. I just want to get it in. I just want to hear you tell me, well done. Because I would hate to do. I've done what I do. Get up here and preach, teach, and talk and tell y'all how good he is. And then when I get up there, you tell me to depart me before I know you're not. Now is the time. While the blood is still warm and warm in your body, now is the time that you accept him or reject him. It's your choice. God bless you.